G'day everyone, Billy here. Well, back out one of the local rubbish dumps, fellas, looking for trash and treasure. Found a few things, fellas. Been a bit unmotivated lately, but anyway, trying to find the motivation to make a video, guys. And I just found a good, good reason to make a good video. I just found something what looks pretty good, pretty, pretty collectible, fellas. I'll show you in a minute, but anyway. I uh, just picked up a few things out here at the dump. Batteries, two little two batteries, a car battery and a motorbike battery or something. Some iron uh, for my farm mate Dale. Uh, old fuel can here. They're pretty collectible, fellas. They're pretty collectible for sheds. It just needs a good clean up. So we'll put that with all my other junk. Just a few things in here, guys. Just an old pot. <laughs> Junk, fellas. Um, old wood drill there. And just up the bits and pieces, fellas. A little bit of copper there. Some copper, if you can see that. Some links of copper. Um, but anyway, guys, nothing really much else except for this. I'll just open up this fridge, fellas. Just about to leave and. Looks like a farmer's done a bit of a clean out. So, what's in here, fellas? Look at this. This is score of the day, fellas. What do you reckon they are? You Americans and Canadians and English people wouldn't have a clue, but these are extremely, extremely collectible, fellas. Look at this. So, these are beautiful wall bale stencils. Old wall bale stencils. So, when the sheep get shorn, guys. When the sheep get shorn, the big wool bales get packed up full of wool. They weigh a fair bit, probably about 600 kilos of wool. And it's just like a big hessian bag, really huge bag full of wool. And the farmers spray these. Oh, actually, there's a couple over here I'll show you. They either use a spray paint or a, a, uh, a wool marking uh, stencil. I did see them here before I threw them away. Let me have a look, guys. Where did I chuck them? What's that? Oh, here they are. So, pretty modern, these are, fellas. But back in the old days, I'd use a paintbrush and paint over these beautiful stencils on their wool bales so that big bag over there that's similar to what a wool bale looks like right there fellas so a wool bale is probably about half the size of that gets packed up with uh all sheep wool the farmer's sheep wool and when the farmers mark the wool bales like with like a utensil like this and they paint over the top of the wool bale just to identify that this wool bale belongs to this farmer. So these ones are pretty modern day ones, fellas. These ones here. But these beautiful old tin ones. This one here. It's made out of copper or tin. And yeah, so it's all ridden backwards at the moment, fellas. But when they write it on, it looks perfect. So if I had a tripod or something, I'd put it on this fridge just to show you what they look like guys but it's a bit hard anyway these are extremely extremely collectible i have found these before i've got a really nice collection of these at home and yeah so they're wall bale stencils and there's a really old one here this one here that that's tin or copper there's a couple of nice tin ones there and yeah so this the stencil's basically got the farmer's name on it the name of the sheep farmer's farm name so that's an awesome find fellas got to be happy with that we'll see what else is in here paintbrush exactly what i need guys but it's stuffed oh what's this beautiful old tool of some kind there it's got a maker's mark on it but it's a bit rusty unsure very collectible fellas beautiful old spanner like that to do it probably a probably an old um harvester or something like that an old sunshine harvester oh it's got sig on it so it's a welding spanner cig sig 
right. Mm, what's this bottle of port? That could be poison, fellas. It's clear liquid. I'll smash that. Because otherwise there's a lot of alcoholics around this area, fellas. Look at this. Beautiful old axe head, fellas. I love finding the old axe heads. It's an old one too, in beautiful condition. It's an old axe head. That's right. What are these? Exactly what I need. No. Oh, some welders rods. Welding rods. I'll give those to my farm mate Dale. So they're the shearing blades. They're the blades what are used to shear the sheep. Even those can be collectible too, fellas, for wind chimes and so forth. You know, use your imagination when you see stuff. It's all collectible, guys, even all this beautiful old stuff, and they're really old blades too, by the looks of it. Old blades. So I'll take those. Some beautiful ones there, sunbeam. Some bearings. Some bearings, exactly what I... They might be stuffed. Trailer bearings they are, fellas. No, that's just about it. Nothing else here, fellas. Oh, some filters. Take those. Some brand new filters. It's an old holding part there, reflector. Don't think I'll take that. That's it fellas, so that's pretty good so far, that's paid for my trip definitely today. Just finding little things like that fellas, it all adds up. So, other than that guys, that's all I found. So, we'll catch you later. So beautiful old stencils. And a few goodies for my farm mate Dale. Alright guys, we might do another video later when I come back towards the end of the day. See ya.